Hey, how's it going? Sometimes you may want to find out a way to remove some part of the audio that you don't like. This tutorial is gonna go through removing a breath on a merged track. So if you have two speakers speaking simultaneously and someone breathes into the mic and you wanna cut that or reduce it, usually what you're wanting to do is taking out the low rumble in it. And so I love Ant Pruitt's tutorial on YouTube for killing the rumble or plosives. And I decided to use this in the same manner because we had an issue with my video or audio editor where I had one track because that's all we could capture from the interview. And my partner Lola breathes as the person is talking. And so we couldn't mute it because it wasn't in a down tempo. And so I figured out a way to do it and it doesn't destroy the audio you know, measurably. Of course, if you're trying to go for super pristine audio, this is just a social media clip that's going to be shared. You know, take it or leave it. But let's go into the audio for where she's talking. So I'm just going to highlight the section where the breath happens. Now, what you can start to see is that this low rumble right here, this really low bass line, is the only part where it's hot on the entire field basically and that's my first visual cue for just locating where it is I don't even have to know the timestamp all I do is pull on the spectrometer which is up here the spectral frequency display and I look down and I go oh there it is I can find it immediately so I'm just gonna play it therapist office and she had so you heard that right around five seconds hmm <sighs> and you can see it too where it's kind of office consistent. and she had just come back therapist. so now you can also see where it's spiking, where the high pitches of her breath are coming in. So let's actually just zoom in and just pull in well, even more. Let's get a tighter pitch. I'm gonna come in right here and grab that. Just expand it just a tiny bit. And what we're gonna do is pull up the FTT filter. Sorry, yeah, the FFT filter. And I've already adjusted it before I had it a bit lower so I could preserve, this was more for um, plosives. So I had it back to about here. So I could save save that as a plosive, plosive default. And then now we're gonna play it. And she's 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 and and she's and she's and she's and she's and she's see how it's softening but it's still not soft enough so let's get back to where i had it so i'm gonna pull this up and you'll watch those lows and she's 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 I know it's horrible. I hate hearing stuff over and over like that, but I'm trying to show you <laughs> what it sounds like. So this one, I can save this as a um, Lola breath over track, over speaker. So now we're just gonna apply that and you'll watch it get taken out. So now, you know, it took out a fair bit but I really wanted to get it out of there. So let's just hear what that section is gonna sound like. Therapist's office and she had just- So it's, it doesn't have as much of the rumble. So it's not as distracting, especially when I'm listening to this on earbuds, which most people on our podcast or consuming our media are gonna be listening to. I just, it's a much more enjoyable experience. I also have very sensitive ears, so it's personal preference. So I'm gonna go in here and actually deselect that. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool set the opacity to 50 and 45 size. And I'm just gonna come in, and since I know that that breath is mostly kind of like this zone, I'm gonna try and see if that's enough area to capture a noise print. So then Shift P, it is, then Command Shift P. And now I'm gonna go and I just basically whap it all the way down to 100% spectral, 100 dB, 100% and she's 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 just to help soften and take a little bit of the edge off of that and now you can see that we've basically helped dip that in so let's just listen to that same section again this office and she had just this office and she had just so now it sounds more like a background breath which is going to be fine in a conversation i mean that adds authenticity of 
the conversation happening. It's just not so much in your face where you're like, ugh, what the hell is that? Right? So I'm just going to paint out that little piece. And that's how I like to remove a breath. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Please subscribe to Tech Tips with Tigray. Definitely check out Ant Pruitt's um, tutorial that I have down below in the description and have a wonderful day. Okay, bonus surprise. I wasn't actually accurate when I said there's another hotspot. There's actually another one where Lola is doing an audible affirmation of mmm. And it sounds a bit strong given the tone of the other part. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to lessen a little bit of her rumble on that. So just lower some of the bass line. So I'm just gonna play it for you. Personality traits in common. Mm. And she was like, does it have to be as loud? Now I'm being very nitpicky here. And this is where my recovering perfectionist tendencies need to get a good slap. So I'm just gonna go through here and just see how it sounds. So shift F1 again. Um, let's just see. Here, just that the reverberation that happens, that mm, and it's because Lola is being recorded on these awesome Rode Procasters, link below, and they're amazing, whereas another person is being recorded through Skype or something, and so her audio is going to be on a, usually like an iPhone headset or something. But just so it's not discombobulating, this is going to really help, I think, lessen it. So what I can also do is just in keep some more of it by raising this so it's not fully out. So. Mm, mm. Let's just apply that, see what that sounds like. Had personality traits in common. Mm. And she went down this list of these personality traits. And I mean, I almost <laughs> would just rather have the mm removed <laughs> from this. So I'll probably ask my editor just to cut that part out and shorten that section up. But that way you can see if you did want to keep it, you could play around with how the FFT filter helps with changing the frequencies and being able to pick out which parts you want to quickly duck and not have be a part of your final edit. So I hope you enjoyed that little bonus to this video and thank you very much for subscribing. Have a wonderful day.